come up here and work this out. I, I am. I'm about to. They're real. They're real. Can I get some money for those? I wish you had something to jiggle, right, bitch? These are worth five hundred dollars. These customers come into the shop to complain. My order was here. the diamond earrings with diamond in them. They said a diamond cut. She thought diamond cut meant diamonds in it. You can take those earrings or I can put diamonds in it for you. So what would we do about the money? Nothing. The earrings say Mo. Unless it's Larry, Mo, and Curly, we're never going to sell them. Things start to get heated. I'm Here's not the deal. You show me anything. You, you cannot do he that. can't even find the receipt. He's, he's getting it. It's 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 you took all money. Said I want the original day for whatever. They'll bring it out to you. Take us on over. Can you go check on the receipt? Nope. You you took took it. Listen, stop yelling. Y'all yeah. ain't gave us no receipts. You want the original copy. The police can come up here and work this out. I am. I'm about to. They won't let it go. We have no problem with the owner letting us spend our money towards something in his store. Huh? Okay, can I just have a card this place, please? Hello? But I thought I explained to him what was going on, then hung up. A lady trying to pawn her item. I want to pawn this ring that sure. I have. Diamonds around it are Travosky crystal. Seth is confused. Travosky, yes. Travosky, no. Uh, my grandmother gave me that ring before she passed away. If they were Swarovski, right? If they were what? Swarovski. Oh, they're Travosky. They are definitely not on the same page. If they were, they wouldn't be setting anything fake. It's our Travosky crystals on the outside. And I'm not leaving up out of here without no money for my crystals. I'm not interested in your crystals. Do you not understand English? You don't English. understand the word Travosky crystals? No, I don't. I just, so what the f are you talking about? The customer decides to let it all out. I have something that's real. Really? These right here. These, they're real. And if they're real, can I get some money for those? Are you going to give me some money for something? <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. She leaves the store agitated. Fake ass. Right. You right. don't it's know no fake. crystals it's when you fake. say mother fake. you, bitch. Whatever. And I just mother came all the way to over here. Two ladies start screaming in the store. How about your fat ass take it out? My gonna come in here and get these mother You better hope he don't slap your ass when he get in here. Get this mother speaker and take it outside. You're gonna stop. Seth has to get involved. Take the mother speaker outside. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. get this mom. Take, take it out. outside. Y'all wouldn't take the she is escorted out. You can grab that bitch too, ogre. My big ass, shrek ass following behind me. Next up, a lady wanting to buy something. Looking for possibly some jewelry. They also symbolize like your commitment to yourself, single dumb. This one is a princess cut center, fifteen hundred. You can take it down about thirteen fifty. Thirteen's kind of still high. Um, if you have anything a little under that, with round diamonds on the side, and that one's six seventy five. Everything looks to be going good. I like it. I mean, I don't think this ring is worth six hundred five. And four fifty. Let's see how serious you are. Five hundred. Four twenty five. Well, if you're willing to go to five, that means you're willing to go lower. You're gonna give it to me for four twenty five. Plus tax. We no. pay tax in Michigan. I need a guy. I don't really want to deal with you. Yeah, a guy. Things start to get tense. Oh. I want someone with a penis. I, I want a man now. So do you have a penis? If so, whip it out and I'll deal with you. If deal you with find sex someone. things here. How about you? Hey, hey a man, right now. A man takes care of her. He's a man. You ain't gonna touch me, jealous ass bitch. Wish you look like me. Your man don't want to even touch you. Don't touch me! Oh. Wish you had something to jiggle, right, bitch? Next up, a lady ready to be single. I'm not believe my husband cashed my ring in. There he is, my husband about to get up. Ashley is there to assist. And we draw that out there and put that in the gas tank and close this account. I call my husband in order to get some money. He didn't want to give it to me. What happened? Girl, get out of my business. She does not like Ashley's answer. We're going to do 180 for ya. What'd you say? I know I can get a whole bunch of thousands for that because I paid a whole lot of thousands for that. Don't ask me nothing. No, f your husband and make your ass like it, bitch. She makes some uncomfortable comments. She on, I go f you. Right in the face and make that bitch like, where's your daddy at? He lives in. I would have f him too. If I probably already then did. My husband ain't work in that ring. Next, an unhappy customer. And I'm not about to let y'all just take my computer like What's that. What's already taken? Yo, people made a mistake. She called up for an extension on the TV, not the laptop. She seems to be confused. Because she well, didn't put the computer. On the TV. I talked to the lady on the phone. I ain't calling no TV. I'm going to talk to a TV. Y'all snatch your shit out. You a crooked ass owner. I wasn't going to be abused. Let me pay the interest on that for y'all snatch that out. A rude customer starts screaming. You fat ass. Get black. You can never be my woman. Your mama, ignorant. She gets into a confrontation with an employee. I wasn't even talking to you, like but you wanted like your fat black ass in. Stay out my mother.
Les gets involved. He what are you calling f- about? Because he in my business. This is your job. Money. And you a liar. Calm down and quiet down a bit. What the f- is this? Stop yelling at me. Okay, what is all it is? Get out. F- you too. Thank you. They disrespectful up in this bitch, and that's coming from me. Looking to pawn her ex-boyfriend's game, Les is suspicious of this customer. I wanted to pawn my ex-boyfriend's game. His game or your game? This is his game. You're not with him any longer? No, he left it at my house, so that's the only permission I need. It belonged to him, I can't take it. And what if he comes back to your house, knocks on the door and says, where's my unit? Then it's stolen. Les cannot accept the item since it is not rightfully hers. You really mean to tell me I can't do with this? Well, I'm not going nowhere. If it doesn't belong to you, don't bring it to American Jewelry. The law says if it's stolen, I'm not allowed to take it. Can't do anything for you. I'm terribly sorry. She gets agitated, but Les does not allow things to go further. He was just basically saying that I pretty much stole it. it. He could say that, and then you could go to jail. I'm not going to mother <laughs> jail. But I'm just saying that's the option that he could take. Deuces. That's all right. Looking to pawn an item. This customer is determined to sell. And I'm here because I'm pawning my video game to get my man out to help me better when he on the street. I'm not leaving without 150. I need 150 for this. You need 150 total? No, 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 no. Together they're gonna be under 150. That's not gonna work. Are you my boss? You're gonna tell me what to do? Ashley almost immediately picks up an attitude. I need 150 for the PlayStation. It's gonna be 100. No, that's not gonna work either. I want 150 Ma'am, for this. You're not Ma'am, gonna nothing, don't me. keep You're not screaming. gonna raise your Listen voice here. at me. A fight almost breaks out. You're gonna give me what I want for this. No, I'm not. You're not gonna give me under $100 for none of this. There well, you I go. Get, get her out of here. Have Thank a good day. She want an apology. Too bad. She better get it from someone else. Taking back her previously pawned laptop, this lady notices something. What the f***? My f***ing one like this when I brought my boy in here. What's up with all these mother scratches and boy When I brought my f*** in here, my f*** was A1. You go get me some mother f***ing Windex. You better give me that mother f***ing Windex. Then you mother f***ing bitches put my f***ing bag. that. Things begin to take a turn for the worse. You gonna wipe my f***ing down. You looking all retarded and sh- no, you is retarded. That's why you working in here in the pie shop. Stupid hey, hey. You gonna walk up on me. That's Get out of the way. Threats are thrown, and so is the customer outside. I'll show you crazy. Oh, okay. I'm not going see you again in this oh, okay. I'm gonna hit you on my truck. Next time I ask you to do something, bitch, you better do it. Quick. There you go. Here's your computer. Two friends barged into the store, their presence practically screaming trouble. I was saying for 75 but I want 154 Man, that's f***ed up, man. Let me talk to Head Honcho. Crazy. Here before. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, what's all this commotion going on? I'm trying to get 150 for my television. Okay. What do you need the money for? Is that in your business? I was just what? asking. Yes, no, maybe so, something. Are you her speaking? We speaking together. We won. Ashley is confused, but also annoyed. So who am I talking to first? So who you want to talk to? You. Why is there a problem now that we can't Can get 25 extra? Hey, hey, stop. I'm grown. Don't yell at me. And so am don't I. Yell at me. I'm I'm grown. Store. I don't give don't a damn if it was store. Don't yell at me. Don't yell don't at me. Don't tell me what to don't do. Don't yell at me. Leave. Okay. Then go. The door's right there. You know, you behind this counter, though. That's what it is. F*** her. Why is she taking so much long? As Clark say, me against the world. F*** everybody. Suck my ass. That's what you can do. Yeah, suck his ass too, damn it. A customer walks in demanding to have her item back. Just getting out my golf club. You sold the clubs to us. You didn't pawn them. I did not sell my club. I know I what I did. did. I don't care to hear the lecture. You? I did not pawn my club. I Why don't... would I be talking about this if I sold them? I don't know. You did not know what you were doing. I clearly have a clear head. I've been sober a lot longer than you're today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bunch. Les decides to step in. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Let you make me... it perfectly clear. Well, you're and profiting know... a lot from people less fortunate with an education than me. But the customer throws in a comment that goes too far. Okay. Anyone down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. What did she just say? Les is enraged. Here's the deal. You, get your out of here. Don't talk about my religion, you bitch. But the customer isn't leaving without a battle. Get the out. Go yourself. A customer tired of waiting is ready to show her annoyance. I'm standing in line. Everybody in there hot, aggravated. Give me my and let me go. We all not dread, man. Y'all got these long hair lines. I've been out here forever. Les tries to help, but rules are rules.
I need my shit out of pine, Where's bro. Your ticket? Y'all got all these. I ain't got no ticket. All I got is my ID. So have you been in line? Screw you. You're gonna wait, just like everybody else. If you keep yelling, we're not gonna be able to take care of you. Seth and Les give her the options and finally decide to tell her to leave. I've been in line to have all these motherfuckers over there. Don't Sir, ma'am, what is it, ma'am? Is it? I don't know. You tell me. And come on, you the dude with the ponytail. Come back later. I have Turn to go to jail tomorrow. Get all it today. I'm aggravated, dude. I'm armpit sweating. Take off your jacket. Take stay your shirt off. off. Why you like that? My dad actually looked out for this woman. He said, "You know what? I'll hold your place in line." Got my money, my ID. I just want my. She comes back in, and again. There is a problem. You ready? Okay, 148.6. You need a cart for my speaker, too. I don't have any available. That's a bull. You need a cart for my speaker. No, you can't. I can't get a cart, man. Uh-uh. But there is only so much they can do. How the f am I supposed to get that out of here? How the f you bring it in? This way. Uh, don't touch me. I haven't touched you, bro. Let's get her out of here. See you later. Anybody want $10 to bring a speaker outside for me? Go, baby. I got you, baby. Sweat, I got you. Here you go. At the end of the day, Everybody's happy. Easy $10 ever made. One minute. A mother and daughter duo start screaming at the store. My daughter, she stole my mama's ring. I need you to do whatever you got to do, but I need to get the damn ring back. She has nothing to confirm the item. Do you have your ID? Mm -mm. How are you going to sit here and tell me? You told me. You brought it here, right? Now, what are we going to do? There's nothing What's I that, can how do. How are we going to do? Chris, watch my mother. ID I do not want my ring. Ashley gets involved. First of all, we got a lower voice. You're in our store. You took your grandma's ring. Yes. Okay, so where's your ticket? I don't have it. Did you press charges against your daughter for being a thief? I'm not pressing no charges against my daughter. Then you can't get it back. No. She shows them their place. Get somebody else that can damn. get my I'm not going to quiet down. I'm not walking away without my damn ring. They continue to make a scene. Yeah, so but turn just around. Tell me I got to make a police report you do. against my daughter. Yeah, you need to get out. See, it's your daughter. Not us. It's your daughter. Next up, a lady trying to sell her TV. I'm looking to get rid of this. How much did you want for the TV? I want 500 for it. We actually sell them for under 250 So I can give you 100 What do I got to do to get you to give me $500? These aren't worth $500. I want some money. Les is not impressed. Trying to play me like I'm stupid. Is anybody that pulls so their boobs out in the middle of a store oh, has what? to be all there. all there? You were all there twice. You. She leaves the store offended. Yourself. I have nice and he just looked at them like they were nothing. Up next, we have a customer asking for her receipt. We don't give out receipts. What you mean you don't give out receipts? When we give you your item, that's your receipt. I need this receipt to show what I spent my money on. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? She starts being disrespectful. Bitch, give me my mother receipt. I need a receipt. My man needs to know what the f I spent my money on. And you sitting there looking all stupid. And f you can look at me like you stupid if you want to. Les steps in. Bitch, I beat your mother Somebody give me a mother manager up in this bitch. My man wants to know what the I've been doing with my money. Can I get I don't know what the you've been doing with your money. So you gonna sit there and act like that? Yes. Bitch, I burn this mother down. Security takes care of the situation. Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. Bitch, yeah. Tommy, you better get your hands off me. You better get your ass off me. This next lady is looking to pawn an item. I was coming trying to pawn my car seat. I went down to the casino and I lost all of my money. So where's the base? It was too heavy to carry. I need the base. Ashley is unable to help her. You have to have the base for it. I know how a car seat goes. Can you get someone else? Where's, where's the manager? Me. Do you have a supervisor? Me. So I can't take it in pawn. You Georgia peach looking mother now, if you can't help me, bitch, get someone else that can. Security steps in and shows her out. I don't need you to take my car seat. Give me my mother car seat. I'm not going nowhere. Let me go. Oh, go. I don't know if she's supposed to use the car seat or her child. A customer looking to pay her ticket. I want to pay on that. I don't know how much it is. I need two fifty nine fifty. You say what? I say you check your computer again. I say no. Baby girl, well, I got to do. Tell me what I owe you, because it ain't no 200 and nothing dollars. Seth is nearby and is included in the conversation as well. I don't need it. 
don't, don't need, need your ID. Shut your tough ass up, because ain't nobody talking to you, homeboy. You're a customer to me, so how can I help I'm you? I'm not no customer to You're you. Not... I love some bullshit. And who are you? Can you read? Can you read? Bitch, please. I got Bitch, it. Bitch, please. This customer goes so far as Seth also notices something on her hand. They had red cups. Maybe there was some alcohol. Maybe they were drunk. Toast to that. I don't want your ass. Go get your manager. Get the f out my face, dog. Or else what? <laughs> the customer decides that the best action to take in this situation is to make Seth a promise. You know my baby daddy, he, he do a lot of Oh, yeah. I'm going to call him, come up here, and, yeah. and f*** you up. Is that a threat? Bitch, please. It ain't no threat. It's a promise. Seth hands her ticket back. And along with that, security comes as well. Don't touch me. I, hold on. Get off me. Hold on, bitch. Get off. Y'all out some bush. I don't know what that woman knows. I don't know who y'all with. We have an unhappy customer. My order was here. the diamond earrings with diamond in them. So I said a diamond cut. She thought diamond cut meant diamonds in it. You can take those earrings I or I can put diamonds in it for you. What would we do about the money? Nothing. The earrings say mo. Unless it's Larry, Mo, and Curly, we're never going to sell them. The situation is not on good terms. You show, show me your receipt. Thing. You cannot do he that. Can't even find the receipt. Took, He's getting it. It's so nobody fault. You took ears. our money. Yeah, I don't want the take. original day for what I'm They'll bring it out to you. Take us on offer. Can you go check on the receipt? Nope. You don't don't tell tell listen. Stop yelling. Y'all yeah. ain't gave us no receipt. You want the original copy? The police already. can come up here and work this out. I, I am. I'm about to. They hope the police will solve their problem. We having a problem with the owner letting us spend our money towards something in his store. Huh? Okay, can I just have a card dispatch, please? Hello? Wow. But I was explaining to him what was going on, then hung up. The customer left. Those earrings will stay there. A rude customer starts arguing with an employee. You fat ass! This black man over here talking about black men! You trifling! You can never be my woman. Your mama, ignorant. Things start getting personal. I, I like wasn't even talking to I you, like that. but you wanted like your fat I black like ass in. Like like stay out my mother Les has to intervene. He what are you calling about? Because he in my business. This is your job. Right. And you a liar. Calm down and quiet down a bit. What the f is this? Stop yelling at me. Okay, what is all it is? Get out. F you too. Thank you. They disrespectful up in this bitch, and that's coming from me. This next customer tries to pawn her ex-boyfriend's game. I wanted to pawn my ex-boyfriend's game. His game or your game? This is his game. You're not with him any longer? No, he left it at my house, so that's the only permission I need. If it belonged to him, I can't take it. And what if he comes back to your house, knocks on the door and says, where's my unit? Problem with that is that it's stolen. Les is unable to fulfill her request. You really mean to tell me I can't do with this? Well, I'm not going nowhere. If it doesn't belong to you, don't bring it to American Jewelry. The law says if it's stolen, I'm not allowed to take it. Can't do anything for you. I'm terribly sorry. He won't allow the situation to go any further. He was just basically saying that I pretty but much he stole it. it. He could say that and then you could go to jail. I'm not going to mother <laughs> jail. But I'm just saying that's the option that he could take. Deuces. Come ladies. That's all right. The next customer has had enough. I'm talking to you. Come on. You're next in line. So I'm going to be right with you. Okay, well, come on. Say Ma Ma calm down. Ashley won't tolerate that kind of behavior. I think you are to talk to us like that. Are you? You're not the police. I can talk to whoever the f I want to talk to. What are you going to do? Come and back I here. Let's talk right now. I want to pay. Well, you have to go to those windows. I'm not. No. Well, I'm not going to stand in the uh, line. Stood in the wrong line. Get in the okay. other line. I'm going to walk straight up to the damn window. We won't, we won't take care of you. She is shown outside. Don't accept their interest. No, which That's window? Because I ain't You're not going into a window, man. Okay, well, I'll be back before y'all close. Bitches. Thank you. Come back when we're not busy. We're always busy, so you're going to have to wait your turn. A customer looking to loan her items. How much do you want for them? $650. $650? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to she does not like Ashley's offer. We can give you a loan today for $80. We go 10% on a loan of what we feel a value is. And it's missing a diamond? That diamond one just missing and one I just brought it in here. My knowledge, there's no diamond. I'm not taking no $80 okay. for those earrings. They start throwing insults at each other. You know what, f you, because you ain't anyway, bitch. You know, you sound like you just sucked on helium. Yeah, bitch, and you ugly. You sound like I got helium in my breath. That bitch a bitch, bitch. Up next, we have an angry customer. Take it out. My don't come in here and get these mother. You better hope he don't slap your ass when he get in here. Get this motherfucking speaker and take it outside. You're gonna stop. Seth has to intervene. Take the speaker outside. I'm gonna get this is mine. Take, take it outside. Y'all wouldn't take the so y'all bring it outside for me. Your ass out of here. I'm gonna take this speaker. They have had enough. You can drive that bitch too, Ogre. My big ass, shrek ass, following behind me. 
two friends walk in complaining to the employee. I was saying for 75 for it, but I want 154. Man, that's f up, man. Let me talk to head honcho. Crazy. Here before. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, what's all this commotion going on? I'm trying to get 150 for my television. Okay. Yeah. What do you need the money for? Is that in your business? I was just what? asking. Yes, no, maybe so, something. Are you her speaking? We speaking what? together. We won. Ashley tries to settle the matter. So who am I talking to first? So who you want to talk to? You. Why is there a problem now that we can't Kim get 25 extra? Hey, hey, stop. I'm grown. Don't yell at me. And so am I. Don't yell at me. I'm grown. I don't give don't a damn yell yell at me. Jesus store. Don't yell at me. Don't yell don't at me. Tell me don't do. tell me what to do. Don't yell at me. Leave. OK. Then go. The door's right there. You know, you behind this counter, though. That's what it is. F her. Why is she taking so much long? As clock say, me against the world. F everybody. Suck my ass. That's what you can do. Yeah, suck his ass too, damn it. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.